Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to install a VPN on your router, some of the pros and cons of doing that, and I'll also be giving you the best VPN options specifically for router installations. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what are some of the reasons you might want to install a VPN on your router? Well, first of all, by doing this, you'd practically be ignoring VPN device limits and having every single device connected to the router be protected by the same VPN connection. Also, this is very helpful in case you have some devices that don't already have any means to download VPNs like consoles and smart TVs. And that's because by simply connecting to the router, it'll be the same as if they have a VPN up and running on that device. Now, what are some of the downsides of doing this? Well, by installing a VPN on your router, this means that all the devices in your home are going to be connected to the same VPN server and subsequently the same VPN. VPN location. So if you want to watch some Japanese Netflix and another household member wants to watch from the Australian Netflix library, well, we're going to have to go back to fighting over the remote. Also, another downside, which is just due to the tedium of it, you're going to have to install each country at a time when doing the manual configuration, which I'll show you in just a second. But once you do it like once or twice, it's going to be a walk in the park. Also, one thing to note is that not all routers support VPN installations, especially ones provided by your ISP. So make sure to check the one that you have online. But generally speaking, if you've gotten a newer router off the shelf, then you're most likely good to go. Now, similar to some routers not being compatible with VPNs, you also have some VPNs that are not suitable for router installations. So to make this easier for you, I looked through several VPNs and picked three options that are not only the best router for installations, but in general. And these are going to be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. All three of these VPNs have relatively the same setup, which we'll get to in just a sec. But if you want to skip the whole process, ExpressVPN has a router called Aircove, which comes with a VPN already installed. And similarly, Nord has partnered with Flash Routers to also offer a router with NordVPN already pre-installed. And so these are the two shortcuts you can take. And I'll be sure to leave a link for both of these in the description down below, alongside some special discounts for the VPNs themselves, as well as in-depth reviews if you'd like to get into the nitty gritty of each VPN. Okay, so to show you how this works, I'm going to be using ExpressVPN as it's my personal favorite, but the process should go relatively the same for both Nord and Surfshark. First of all, as I mentioned earlier, you need to check whether or not your router is compatible with VPN installations. To do this, either go to the router website or check on the back of the box to see if it says so. Then once we've made sure our router is ready to go, we're going to go into our ExpressVPN account, click on setup over here, then we'll go down to the list of devices and click on manual configuration. Once we click on it on the right side, you'll see the open VPN protocol. That's the one we're going to use in order to set this up. And right here, you'll see your username and password, which we're going to need later. After that, go to the list of locations and click the one that you want to use the most. So let's say you want to use your router and connect it to a server in the US. We can click on USA, New York, and then we're going to download the installation file and make sure to remember where the file is being downloaded. Now open a tab to log into your router. And generally speaking, you'll find the login information on the back or underside of your router. It'll be something like a number that you have to type into your address bar, like 192.168.1.1 or something like that. And then once you enter that, you'll have to log into the router using the username and password we talked about earlier. From here on out, the process would be slightly different depending on your router you're using. This setup may look a little different, but in general, you're going to have to find the location where you can set up a VPN in your router. Once you do that, you want to set up the open VPN protocol, enter in the username and password and upload the file that you downloaded from here. Also, just a small tip, I recommend you include in the name of this profile, the location that you're using so that if in the future you want to use other locations, you'll be able to keep track of which is which. And that's really all there is to it. And now when you connect a device to your router, you'll be automatically connected to ExpressVPN and to websites on the internet. It will look like you're in the US and you will also have the privacy and security that ExpressVPN offers. And it'll be the same general process, whether you're using Nord or Surfshark, it just may look a little different here and there, but this is generally how you set up a VPN on your router. Okay, so ExpressVPN is going to be the overall best option here as it's fast, super easy to use, and feels like it's built into your device. It launches instantly, connects to servers in under a second, and comes with all the core VPN features like the kill switch, split tunneling, as well as threat manager that blocks ads, pop-ups, trackers, and malware-ridden websites. Plus, it's the only VPN I've seen that has a real-world incident backing its no-logs policy. And that's when the Turkish government seized one of their servers as part of an ongoing investigation, only to find absolutely nothing on that server, making Express the most trustworthy option for those of you who prioritize the highest levels of privacy. As for NordVPN, this one is going to be the fastest out of the three thanks to its Nordlinks protocol. It keeps the natural VPN speed drops to absolute minimum percentages, which is great for streaming, torrenting, or gaming. Besides that, it's packed with a lot of bonus features like threat protection, which acts as a mini antivirus. MeshNet that's used for secure file transfer and dark web monitor to keep an eye for your personal information on the dark web. And so if you're looking for the VPN that offers the most value in terms of speed and bonus features, NordVPN could be right up your alley. 
And then finally, we've got Surfshark, which is not as fast as the other two, but it's still faster than most VPNs out there. Besides that, Surfshark is the best budget VPN out there, and it gets the job done at the best possible price without sacrificing any speed or security, while still offering some bonus features of its own. And the real kicker is that you can secure an unlimited number of devices with a single subscription, so you can share it around with as many family members as you'd like. And so if you're looking for something that's extremely budget friendly while still maintaining the quality of a premium VPN, then I highly recommend Surfshark. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. As I mentioned earlier, this is just a brief overview of each VPN. And if you're interested in any of them and would like to know more, I'll be leaving in-depth reviews in the description down below, alongside some special discounts that you won't find anywhere else. Besides that, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer all of them. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.